still due in lesson nine. So if I'm looking at this question, we've done 10% of numbers, right? So now we're looking at hundreds of percents of numbers, numbers that are greater than 100. So um, I have 300% of 12. So I'm going to break this into 100%, right, times, uh, times 3. Okay, so first I'm going to use the 100%, right, which is 1 times 3, or it's 1 times 12, blah, 1 times 12, right, because I changed this into a decimal, and that is going to be 12. Now I'm going to take that 12, and I'm going to multiply it by the 3, and that's going to be 36. So 300% uh, of 12 is 36, okay? If I'm going to look at 110%, um, right, I'm going to break this up into, I'm going to draw a line here, oops, no line, draw a line. Okay, I'm going to break this into 100 and 10 because that's easier to deal with, right? Okay, so and I know how to deal with both of those numbers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go 1, I'm going to change this to a decimal, so 1, I can do this, times 12, and that I know is equal to 12 already. Then I'm going to take 10% and I'm going to change it into a decimal as well. And I'm going to multiply that by 12, and that is equal to 1 decimal 2. And then I'm going to add these back together. So this would be 13 decimal 2. All right, so just another little recap here. Um, I'm going to break this guy into a couple different parts. So first I'm going to split it at 230 right, and then I'm going to deal with this percent first, and then this one, okay, of five. So I'm going to do 100, which is one, right, times by that five, and that is five, okay, then I'm going to multiply that by two, and that is equal to 10. Okay, and now I'm going to deal with the 30 there. So first I'm going to deal with the 10%, which is 0 decimal 1 times 5, which is equal to 0 decimal 5. Then I'm going to put the 3 back in, and I multiply by that 3, which is 1 decimal 5. Then I'm going to add these together, and I know it's 11 decimal 5. All right, about what percent of 35 is 68? Okay, and I've somehow moved this, so I'm going to move it back. There we go. Okay. Okay, so is 68, so if I'm going to think about this, okay, is 68 going to be closer to 200% or 100%? Like, where does it sit on the number line? So is 68 more or less than 35? It's definitely more. Um, 68 will be way more than 100% because 35% is the 100%. And then, um, so 200% would be double that, right, which is 70. So I know that 68 is going to be closer to 70, and it's going to be around here. So I know it's going to be closer to 70. And so then I'm going to guess at what percent it's going to be, and I'm going to say it's about 197%, okay? And it's a good estimate because I've, I, if I look at this number line right, there's zero. This is 100%. If I double it, it's 200%, okay? So it's really easy to see if you relate it to a number line. All right, that's it. So make sure you're finishing off the rest of your work and coming to the help sessions.